last two days, you Hi. and Derwin Hi. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, it seems like you and Derwin have just been going to battle every time that you guys go up against each other. What has that matchup been like, and how does that help you going up against Derwin? Uh, well, Derwin's a fantastic football player. He has been since he got into the league. I got to play against him his rookie season, my second year when we played in L.A. Uh, he was fantastic then, and I know he had an injury, but he's just kind of a freak of nature. He's like 6'2", 6'3", physical, runs really fast, and he's super quick. So, I mean, he can do whatever. You, like, he can follow you. He can chase you. He can be in your hip. He can play on top. He can try to, like, jam you at the line. So it's just fun being able to work, like, every single technique against him because he tries new things every single time. So he always keeps you on your toes, and then I have to try to keep him on his toes. And it's just a nice battle back and forth. And that was a great competition and uh, ended off, you know, on a high note for him. It was awesome. Yeah, you had that pick, George. That may be a play that when James only can make or very few people can make that play? I mean, I got to see it on tape, but it was a hell of a play by him. Undercut the stick route. Um, yeah, and he's long arms, good catch, ran away with it. It was a great play by him. Oh, yeah. I mean, our wide receivers, uh, you know, emphasis on blocking. Um, and, you know, I love it out of River. Uh, he's a guy that, you know, you got to, you know, make plays. And if he's going to, you know, if he's not going to catch the ball, he's going to try to do everything he can in the run game. He's going to be a little bit feisty, a little bit spicy. And I love that out of my wide receivers. And I know, like, defensive guys get annoyed at that. But, hey, it is what it is. It's football. And we're out here practicing, trying to get better. And River's just, you know, iron sharpening iron. So I love that out of him. And uh, if it pisses somebody off, it is what it is. What's your assessment of Trey Lance's first extended run? Well, there's a lot of that QB option stuff that I'm still learning how to do. So it's, it's some uh, there's some bumps, but uh, he's a natural out there. He is, you know, he's uh, he's good in the huddle. He calls the plays. Um, it's just you know, obviously different, a couple different plays here and there. But it's fun to do new stuff sometimes. And I thought he did a good job today. What's the challenge for you to learn? Uh, just reps, reps. Whether it's walkthrough reps, live reps, just practice reps. Just uh, we had a I don't know a handful of those little things here and there. And um, I know that probably just add more and. Yes. What, what's the challenge for you? Oh, they're just, I mean, when you do like zone option stuff, like who you're blocking, depending on what look it is, depending on the certain play called, it's just a lot of uh, loose ends, I would have to say, that you know we're, we're sharpening up right now and just trying to figure out the best way to do it. Have you guys been eager to, to see Trey get an extended run with you guys? I mean, I'm eager to see whoever is out on the field with me, honestly. You know, whoever's playing ball, I just hope they play at a really high level and throw me the ball. I, you know, I've been asked Jimmy questions for about three years. I've been asked Trey questions for the last six months, so it is what it is. And I'm just going to look at you guys and smile and say everything I can. <laughs> what did you think about these two days of offense? Do you think you got the work in you needed? Uh, yeah, I know. I thought offense, I thought we did a good job. Um, you know, I think uh, definitely you know, have to be a little bit more, bring in a little bit more of the intensity, a little bit more of a tempo. Um, and our practices are a lot different. Like we're on and off the field in like 75, 90 minutes, and we do about the same amount of plays. And I think we're out here for like two hours plus. And so the tempo is a little bit different, but you know, something that we got to adjust to, obviously, because I think this is more game realistic. I think. Um, but uh, you know, it's different, you know, when you have Trent Williams not in. And I think Jalen did a great job, but Trent Williams is Trent Williams. And so whenever we have him back, it'll uh, you know it'll be nice. But I thought the offense overall did a good job. And watching the defensive tape, you know. They're our defense. They were fantastic. They brought the energy. So I love watching their tape, and I thought they got better. And it was just, you know, fun to compete against someone else and not the headbutt Eric Armstead, you know, six times a day. How was it uh, blocking the other boats? Oh, it was awesome. I love Joey. Uh, great competitor. He brings it. He just got a, this weird – he just flips a switch, and he goes from, like, a super co cool, calm, collected dude to a bear, you know, honestly. And uh, it was really fun to go against him. I didn't get any reps against him today, which is – it is what it is, but um, had some good reps against him yesterday, and uh, you know he's out there making all of our guys better because he's one of the best in the league at what he does. And uh, you know if we can block him, I think we can block other guys. Yeah, say sorry, man. Jeez. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, Cam. Go, baby. <laughs> Um, I say like what they do similar. They move very similarly. Um, that's a word, right? Uh, but like just it's just different how they move. It's just kind of like it looks slow, but it's very fast and powerful. Like their whole body just kind of moves like I don't know. They're like water, kind of just going to the least amount of resistance. That's how they kind of find it. Um, the one I think the biggest difference is Nick's just a little shorter, so he always has good leverage. So he's always hitting you like from lower to high. Like he's just always getting under your pads. And Joey's about my size, so it's easier for me to get leverage on him. But I mean, they're both amazing football players, and I'm just excited to see Nick Bosa back on the football field because I think he's one of the best players in the NFL. I feel like they both have the same mental approach. Are you kidding me? Sure, no. <laughs> out, out. <laughs> they both have the same mental approach to the game. Same thing, like. 
Oh, they're, yeah, like, uh, like I said, they're both very cool, calm. They're just chilling, vibing by themselves, and then they go put them on a football field, and they are violent, aggressive, and they just make play after play after play, and they're just relentless and relentless, and they just don't turn off until they get onto the sideline, and then they're back to their normal chill self. It's very strange, and I love everything about it. Um, good question. I mean, I always try to be like myself every single day and I always try to be the best teammate I can be because, you know, you, football is an amazing thing. You have all these people from all different aspects of life, from different parts in the world, uh, from different upbringings, different parents, everything. And you put them onto the same team and try to strive for the same goal. And it's pretty amazing um, that you can get, you know, teams to do that. And um, you don't know what, you know, guys are going through. So I just try to be the best team I can every single day, um, try to cheer people up, try to encourage them um, and try to inspire them every single day. And um, that's one thing I've learned, you know, from vets I got to play with, from Sherman to Joe Staley to Garrett Selleck, who I think was probably the best team I ever had in my entire life. Um, you learn a lot from those guys, and so I just try to do the same things that they did and then even try to do a little bit more, just, you know, try to bring guys along with me because uh, it literally feels like two years ago I was a rookie and I had no idea what was going on, and I'm going into year five, and so I got to be that guy that brings guys along with me. So it's, uh, it's awesome to be, you know, um, nominated for that or awarded that, and I'm looking forward to it. Now it's your turn. Question about this guy. Everybody, he's battling for a roster spot again this summer. Uh, Jamichael Hasty. Mm -hmm. Like, what are your thoughts on him? He obviously has has some juice to him. I love I love Hasty. Uh, he gives me a Jeff Wilson vibe. Um, he goes kind of into a dark place, and he just runs and he runs and he's violent. He's explosive. Um, he just has this awesome. I mean, his cuts that you guys see, he just jukes people out. But he still has this nice forward lean to him where he's always just running through contact. Like, he's not the biggest guy, and you look like, oh, he's going to get blown up by a linebacker. But how he, like, just dodges the big hit and he bounces off of stuff, I love that. And he's relentless, too. Like, he's a guy that he'll take 10 reps in a row, does not care. Hey, just run 16 power, and I'll run it, I'll get hit, I'll get right back up, and I'll run it again. And I love being around guys like that to just bring the violence and the energy every single play. George, how's Jordan Matthews adapted to that tight end position? Is he doing well with the blocking intricacies? Uh, yeah, I think Jordan's, he's come a long way, honestly. I mean, just two months ago when I was working with him, um, what I like about uh, Jordan, he, like, looks himself in the mirror. Like, he's like, I know I'm not very good at this, so, we'll, like, how do I get better at this every single day? He asks questions in our meeting room. He's on top of it. He knows what he's doing in our meeting room when he gets asked questions. He's always on top of it. He doesn't really have a lot of MAs. But I just love his high effort. You know, he's always got an engine. Um, we call him a tempo violator because he always goes way too hard in walkthroughs. He, like, he, wears, he laces up his cleats and runs full-speed routes. Like, I walk. Um, so like he's a tempo violator, but like you love that he's a guy that has one. He's got one shift. He's just going to go 100 miles an hour. Um, but yes, he just he works really hard every single day, and he's taking steps forward every day. Like he hasn't, he doesn't come out and have a bad day where he does like five things bad. Like hey, he might miss a block, or uh, you know he might not fully understand the route. But the next day he's going to have those things down. And he's going to do them perfect, and that's his thing. And I just appreciate that he's honest with himself about the things that he's not good with because he has gotten a lot better since he's been with us. George, uh, Thanks, tomorrow. Guys. Tomorrow is uh, SummerSlam. Uh, Tomorrow is National Tight End Day, but sorry. <laughs> who, uh, Roman Reigns versus John Cena, who you got? <sighs> ah, goodness gracious. I mean, Roman's going to win. They're just going to keep pushing Roman. I am excited for him, though, because he's a Niners fan. So let's go, Roman. Great question. Love it. Say again? Ross Blow. What is he going to bring to the game? Oh, shut <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Ross the Boss. Uh, I mean, he's going to do the same thing like he always does. He's going to bring high energy, and he's going to catch everything that you throw his way, and he's going to be able to do anything. I mean, he can play the F, he can play the Y, he can play the Z when we have multiple tight ends out there. He does it all, and uh, I just appreciate that because he's consistently good every single day. And then when you give him a chance, he's great. And that's what I love about Dwell. He just He's only gotten better every, every time he's on the football field. He doesn't have bad days. He doesn't take days off. He's consistently awesome every single day. And uh, he pushes me to be good every single day, too. And it's nice to have a guy like that that you know, we've been together for four years now. And uh, just I think we've both gotten uh, way better uh, since we first got together. So I'm excited about that and uh, just excited to play with him this year. There's only two questions. Will you put your foot down, Corey? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Yeah, what's up, baby? <laughs> Fred had a, a big hit. You were in Santa Clara, and Fred had a big hit on Trey Sermon the other day. A, a, a bit of a, an uproar. I mean, as an offensive player, you got to have mixed emotions about that, right? Yeah. I mean, like, uh, 
I'm a big protect the team guy. Um, you know, I'm not going to go out there and pancake guys and do anything like that. Like, uh, you know, I'm going to go until the ball's past me. I'm done. And I know defensive guys, like, there's nothing more annoying than um, running a route, catch a ball, you turn up field, you jog for 10 yards, and then Fred comes up and just tries to hit you as hard as he can, try to knock a ball out. But, um, you know, they're training us to always be on the defensive, to always protect ourselves. And they're training themselves to be the most violent, aggressive defense in the league. So, you know, uh, are they annoying as hell? Yes. But I love everything about it. Um, and if, as long as they're consistent every single day, uh, I'm okay with it, which they are. They're always consistently annoying. It's amazing. <laughs> right, the best fans on the team, by the way? I do, but yes. <laughs> Good try, though.